Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV here at the Nappy Conference in Las Vegas. Just had the chance to catch up with Jesse Redness, who heads up digital strategy at USA Network, and he talked to us about how USA evaluates and uses digital extensions for its shows like Burn Notice, Psych, and White Collar. So, Jesse, you have got some shows that just recently launched on USA. Burn Notice is back. We also have Psych that's launching this week. Take us through what's new programming-wise, but then focus on what some of the digital extensions are for that new programming. Sure. Um, you know, that what came up this past week, premiered on Tuesday, was White Collar. Um, it actually, the season premiere for it, um, was during the fourth quarter. Uh, did extremely well. One of the new uh, number one shows of the year for 09 and coming into 2010. We only had about an eight-week hiatus. Um, so we came back and came back strong. The numbers were, were fantastic for air. Um, and along with that, we launched some digital extensions uh, called Chasing the Shadow, in which it really puts the user in the seat of working alongside Neil, who is one of the main characters. Uh, he's kind of the, the con that gets busted and then comes out of jail to help the FBI uh, capture other cons. Um, and so really, uh, what this game does is it puts you in the seat of, of working alongside Neil and Peter, who's the FBI agent, to capture this you know, illustrious you know, character called the White Shadow. Um, it's sponsored by Ford, so we had a heavy Ford integration, so we did a lot of live action video shooting uh, in New York City during the big snowstorm, so it was a great backdrop. Um, and it showcased the Ford and all of the technology uh, enhancements that the Ford Taurus brings, uh, along with, you know, sync technology and uh, some of the other things it offers. Uh, and it really provides a, a deep immersive experience for the users to come and pretend like they're a character in the show. Any data yet on usage, on how popular that is with your Yeah, it, it was the first week. Uh, within the first week, we've already had over 20,000 registered users. Uh, we're also doing a sweepstakes along with it, so you can play all the different missions because it's, it's broken up into an episodic experience. Uh, and we already have uh, over 11,000 people entered into that sweepstakes to win the Ford Taurus. So you have brands involved, so clearly there's a, a business model behind these digital extensions. Broader than that, what do they do? I mean, for a show like Burn Notice, which is hugely popular unto itself, what do you think the digital extensions bring to the table? I mean, for USA, uh, from all sides of the network, we're all about our characters, and whether those are the characters that are on our air, uh, such as Monk and, and Jeffrey Donovan, uh, Michael Weston and Burn Notice, uh, as well as the characters that are watching our shows. So for us, it's really important to take our kind of brand positioning of Characters Welcome and bring the user into our network in every way possible. So that's you know connecting on the digital side so they can really engage with our shows, not just visually, but a two-way communication in which they can pretend uh, and act like they're a part of what's happening in the show. And, and digital extensions really allow our users to do that. They can come and pretend like they're Monk or they're Michael Weston or they're Neil Caffrey from, uh, from My Collar. You've done a lot with games as well for a number of your shows. How is that going in general? Any numbers you can share in terms of overall usage of online games? I know when we spoke a while <coughs> ago, you'd done something interesting with Windex yep. and Monk, and that was a popular yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, gaming in general has been humongous for us. We launched our own uh, casual gaming portal about two years ago. Uh, we're already up to a half a million users that are coming in just to play the games. Uh, we've launched 50 of our own games. Um, and what games do is, when you look at engage, engagement metrics across you know, the web, you're looking at you know, people watching video. They're watching for you know, anywhere from 42 to 100 minutes watching full episodes. Uh, the next most engaging area online is actually happening in games. And that's people coming in, whether they're playing casual games or deep immersive games. What it does is it provides just a, kind of a, a media outlet for them to come and engage with every piece of content we can create for them. And so it really attaches our brand of the show to the user. Um, and games in general have been huge because advertisers are, are seeing that engagement metric and saying, wow, instead of a banner that's going to be up there for 30 seconds or a 15 second spot or 30 second spot on air, I can create an engagement uh, metric that's so large in regards to 15 to 30 minutes per user session by launching an interactive ex experience or a game. Let's talk briefly about mobile. What are you doing in that area? Do you see that as a big growth area in 2010? Yeah, I mean, mobile in general is going to be a huge growth area for USA. Uh, everyone's got a, you know, a mobile. Everyone's got a PDA. Everyone's got an iPhone. Uh, so we're launching a lot of different things across all the different handsets, uh, whether it's BlackBerry. Uh, we have some apps and games that have launched uh, for uh, the iPhone. Uh, we have WAP-enabled sites for every one of our show sites. Um, and again, it's, it's just trying to launch content for every digital platform that's out there. Usage yet? Any info on usage for smartphones and for apps? Uh, for apps, yeah, we you know we've launched a few games that are getting a lot of great pickup. Um, uh, for Monk, the last season was in, in Q4, and we launched a, a downloadable Monk bobblehead app. 
uh, which is just a fun kind of gimmicky thing. Uh, we had over 150,000 people download this app. Uh, and for us, it, those are real pure dedicated fans. Uh, and you know, we didn't charge for it. It was just free fun stuff. And uh, it pr just provides another touch point for, for the fans to come and get a piece of mug. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. Thank you.